Hey, what's going on guys? So for this edition of checking out some modeling support good weapons, we're gonna be taking a look here at the Freestyle Gun. So this is a gun that has some really cool customized options here. And as you can see, I've actually already opened this and built parts of it already just because I was testing it out for a different custom build. Uh, but I wanted to do a video for this because it's a pretty cool gun with some nice options that I think you guys might be interested in maybe using with some of your Gunpla kits or of course Frame Arms kits, the 30 minute missions kits, whatever you might want to use this for. So let's just get, let me uh, get it built up here and then we can see how this looks with some different kits so you guys can see this in use some examples there so in this case the instructions for this are just here on the back basically what we've got is just kind of the main uh, SMG kind of type rifle here but then we can use some different option parts for that like I said I've already got some of this stuff put together so I can just show that to you right away you can extend the barrel like that a little bit longer or you can extend the barrel a little bit longer to like that to a full length rifle like that then we do have some options for the ammunition as well and you've got this set which you can set I guess either onto the left side or right side but that just plugs onto the top of there like so and again just on the other side plugs onto there if you wanted to do it that way or if you wanted to do it that way like so or if you wanted to do it like that with all the kind of ammunition on there we do have another option for the ammunition pack for the top of that just cover that up with this here like that which I think looks really good if you're just going to use this as an SMG like that uh, but again with the barrel extended like so like that and then the full extension it's going to be looking like that with that full extension on there so it's a pretty cool looking weapon I think you guys will agree and the handle does look like it should be able to be used with uh, a lot of high grade kits maybe not the high grade kits which have a smaller size hand by any larger size high grade kit and then we have these other parts here which I've not yet put together all right here we are so there is the tank it does have a seam line down the middle of that so you will have to get rid of a little bit of seam on there and then this part is the connector part which will allow you to plug this onto wherever you want to plug that on the kit you plug it just straight onto something like this here or there and then this is our plastic tube here that will plug into here now, i will note that it doesn't stay in there too well it does kind of want to fall out so probably just whenever you want to set this just stick a little glue on that and just pop that in there and then that'll be stuck there just fine now then the other end of that will plug into the top of the gun here you have another little part which will just plug onto here instead of a magazine you'll plug this onto the top of there like that and you can plug in the wire onto the top of there like so now honestly not really much of a fan of that connection point so pretty much what you could do with this is uh, just cut off the peg on this side and then just kind of glue this onto anywhere i'll probably just like, end up gluing it onto the side of the rifle uh here where that circle is but what that circle is actually for there on the side of the rifle is for this little connector part which you can plug onto there on either the left or the right side it doesn't matter just plug that onto there and that will give you a hard point there of connecting this uh, gun onto anywhere on the kit if you want to store the kit uh, onto the backpack or something or onto the shoulder unit or something of a kit you can use that uh, connector piece for that we do have a different connector piece as well this one which again you can just plug onto anywhere onto your kits and then this just slots into this hole up underneath the kind of back of the rifle here i'll just plug into there and then you can plug that onto your kit again wherever just for storage as i mentioned we do also have this cap piece here for the top of that rifle if you want to just cover that up without using any either of the uh, magazine attachments you can just cover that up like so and then this part here for the back of that you do also have an option for that as well just a standard one like this that doesn't have that uh, extended height on it like that so as you guys can see we have a ton of different options of how you can build this out and so this is why this is one of my favorites in the modeling support goods weapons just because of how customizable it is just with everything that you get here with this so it's a really really great set now let's try it out on some kits and see how it's gonna look so we'll take a look at a few different examples here obviously on a frame arms kit this is not going to have any trouble you can plug this onto all sorts of places there uh, obviously it's got all sorts of hard points along the arms the shoulders the legs and of course the backpack so using these parts with frame arms is not going to be an issue at all and of course it does look pretty cool a little bit of painting of course will help the customized look but uh, I gotta say definitely looks pretty awesome and then with the frame arms girl go right here as well of course not gonna be having any issues here although the hand holding the handle is a bit odd because the hand of the frame arms girl is like a little bit at an angle but the handle for this weapon is pretty much kind of straight on so in order to kind of hold the gun in like in a convincing position it's a little bit awkward 
But again, you've got hard points all over the kits, so using these custom parts with this is not an issue at all. And this, the size and the compatibility all works out pretty well, so using these with Frame Arms Girls and or Megami Device kits should also be no trouble at all. Now using these with Bandai kits is where it's going to get a little bit trickier because they're not specifically really technically made for them. Now let's just say for example you wanted to use this as an optional sniper rifle for your Master Grade Gym Sniper 2. Now just first off, as you can see, the size is looking a little bit small. I mean, it's not that small, I mean, but as a long sniper rifle compared to the rifle that's included with the Gym Sniper 2, it's definitely shorter than that. Let's swap out the fingers for our weapon holding hand. And it's not gonna grip it super well, so you'd have to do a little bit of gluing or some sort of modification to get a good solid grip on that. But as you guys can see, yeah, it's kind of hard to show you guys. Just the general size of that is not too bad if you're using the full length rifle here. It looks pretty good with the GM Sniper 2, so I'd say it's a little, it's a, it works. But on a lot of 100 scale kits, this might be looking a little bit small, especially if you're using the smaller forms of it, like just the MSG, something like that. But it's not too bad. It's pretty close. I think it could work. Now, how about a high grade kit? So as we know, a lot of modern high grades have these hard points here in the back. So this tank should be able to plug here onto the back without any actual modification. So that fits into there and it's definitely loose. So you will want to put some glue on that just to make sure that it stays in there. But just a little bit of glue and that can work on there pretty fine as long as you're using the same kind of peg hole here for the backpack or anywhere around else on the kit. But as for the hand, it's going to be pretty tight. It's not really able to get on there. It's kind of on there, but it's definitely stretching out the hand a little bit. But just for the time being, it's on there. But you would definitely want to just shave down the handle just to make the handle a little bit thinner if you wanted to use this with a high grade. But here's just a look at the size comparison. Now, for high grades, these weapons tend to be a little bit large. So as I've said before, a little bit small for master grades, a little bit large for high grades. So that's just kind of how they end up looking, unfortunately. And then one last test here on a 30 minute missions kit as well. Now with the hand should have the same issue of just not being able to fit really well in the hand and the size will definitely be not very fitting because the 30 minute missions are a little bit smaller than your typical high grade. So they're definitely going to be on the small side, but I just want to try out the compatibility of using the tank on here. So for example, if you want to connect this up onto here to the top of the shoulder, it's actually a much tighter fit. So it fits really nice and snugly there on the shoulder. Let's just see, for example, will it fit onto the front of the chest here as well? Yes, it does work. So if you want to have the tank connected onto the front of the chest anywhere. So anyway, it seems like this is connecting onto here. Oh, it's still a little bit loose on the backpack. So these attachment points for the backpack must be slightly different ever so slightly different than the rest of the attachment points because it's plugging in nice and snugly into everywhere else except the backpack adapter points, strangely. But yeah, it's loose there and it's tight everywhere else. But anyway, that is going to be it for this review of the Freestyle Gun. Like I said, I really like this. It's one of my favorites in the line. So definitely check it out if you're interested in getting a cool gun, specifically if, you know for Frame Arms or Frame Arms Girls, but you can make it work for other kits as well. I think if you want to use this for any Gunpla kits, it would probably be best used with some, like, some of the smaller 100 scale kits, like the Wing kits or maybe like the F90 variants, things like that. So that would be my recommendation for this. But of course, you guys can get creative, make it work however you might see fit. That's it for the review, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below and check the link down below to USA Gundam store where we've got a ton of different frame arms stuff and uh, obviously Bandai, but these modeling support goods weapons there as well. So you can check those out and save 10% off everything using the coupon code there, Zakorilius10. So until next time, guys, have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.